What is up guys? So, I am finally getting back into full swing doing Yu-Gi-Oh videos. Um, we're gonna be adding new members to the team, I think, very soon. Uh, you know, we're kind of, you know, in that discussion phase because uh, Cole and Sam, they actually, like, live really far away from where me and Blake live. That's why you mainly hear from me and Blake, uh, because, you know, we hang out a lot and we, we talk all the time. You guys are gonna see more and more videos from me now, mainly on the team channel as I get back into playing Yu-Gi-Oh and get back into that competitive swing. So, speaking of being competitive. So, um, that's what this video is going to be about, is I'm going to be doing a discussion on heroes. And I, and I love heroes, guys. It's one of my favorite archetypes. Um, when I dropped Necroz, like, you know, because I played Necroz format, I played Necroz in Necroz format. Um, I kicked a lot of ass with that deck, but um, uh, I ended up getting rid of it before all the hype died down, you know what I mean? So I can make my money back, because I spent like a grand on that deck. Like, that deck was like super expensive at the time, you know? Uh, you know, Brios were 160 bucks. I actually got mine for 90 each and I was like, a, I mean, that's ridiculous, you know, but back then that was a deal. Like, that was a steal back in the day. So when I dropped Necroz, um, I actually picked up Heroes because I was so spoiled from Necroz. I was like, man, I have to be playing a really competitive deck, like a really competitive and really consistent deck. Consistency was the key there because, you know, Necroz spoiled me so much. And that's going to be the first uh, topic, you know, on the subject of Heroes is how consistent the deck is even without three rota we still have rota at one at least which is fantastic i think rota at three makes for good formats but that's just my opinion we have three emergency calls three hero lives like that is just so strong not to mention shadow mist is a floater and a searcher you know that is so strong and uh bubble man being able to you know consistently um you know get you out rank fours and stuff is fantastic then of course if you top deck you know you get that lucky top deck with the bubble man you totally go plus two off of that which is great the next point I'm going to bring up is the lockdown aspect of heroes. So, um, of course, you have Dark Law. That's your main dude. Dark Law brought heroes back from the dead. He really did, especially in the format where he came out in, where everyone was playing Shadals and Burning Abyss, and you know, and everyone was playing like uh, Cleefort. Um, you know, being able to like snipe out what your opponent searches, and of course, you know, just completely macro cosmos them. You know, that one sided macro cosmos at that. That is just phenomenal, guys. Like, like Dark Law is, um, you know. And he has been a problem for a lot of decks. So Dark Claw, of course, does lock down a lot of decks. And then uh, the next card, of course, I'm just going to get right to it. Like Tree Toad, or I'm sorry, Totally Awesome, which is the gayest fucking name. Oh my gosh. You know, that card, you know, being able to go into not only Bahamut Shark, uh, you know, which uh, gives you a 2600 body, which is great. Uh, but then you get like a 2200 Toad out that like negates anything, like, which which protects your Dark Claw against, you know, Raigeki. Because, you know, I think the main main um, enemy of heroes um, has been Raigeki, because if you're opponent, like, you'll set up a big board, you know, you'll get out your Dark Law, or, or, you know, what have you, like, you'll be relying on Dark Law to win, because that's just how heroes have been in the past, you know, kind of protect the Dark Law strategy, um, you know, and their weakness is Raigeki, so being able to have that Toad out to stop a Raigeki, you know, and just, like, comp you know, from completely beating you, because that's not one card win for your opponent if they get Raigeki, it really can be when you're, when you're playing heroes. So to, um, you know, have that block is just fantastic. It's really, really good. And, um, you know, the next lockdown, I would say the lock, you know, lockdown ability, whatever you, you want to call it, is being able to easily make Rafflesia. And you guys all know how strong Rafflesia is. It's immune to traps, and then, you know, uh, you get to like, you know, have that 2,500 booty that just traps your opponent on their turn, like that's, and, and on your turn at that, that's like so strong. And then the next argument I'm gonna have for heroes being good coming up is the OTK ability. Um, Blade Armor Ninja is still a really good, uh, really, really strong, really good card, guys. Um, you know, being able to attack twice with 2200 is fantastic. Um, then, of course, you know, the deck, I mean, any rank four deck can easily make lightning. Uh, Utopia Lightning is a phenomenal card. Um, it also, you know, freezes out your opponent's back row, which is like, so it makes it like an arm 80s, which is just great. And then, of course, you know, for the OTKs, you can always go mass change to mass change to mass change and just completely blow out your opponent. Go ahead and uh, let me know uh, why you will or will not be playing heroes and uh, go ahead and let me know uh, let us know uh, what decks you guys are going to be playing uh, I would love to hear you know if you guys know what decks you guys prefer and all of that stuff but as always dick slap that like button and subscribe